Beautiful day. We met James Juanillo at his office. Let's go, buddy. This local park is his safe haven, where he works as a dog walker and reflects Are you defacing private property? on everything he has experienced since posting this video last Thursday. Well, um, apparently I have a platform now. A lot has changed since last Tuesday, when Juanillo was confronted by Pack Heights residents Lisa Alexander and Robert Larkins for stenciling Black Lives Matter with shock on what turned out to be his property. Since the video went viral, Alexander, the CEO of La Face Skin Products, lost her account with Birchbox and issued this apology. Quote, when I watched the video, I am shocked and sad that I behaved the way I did. What's your name, sir? The man in the video, Robert Larkins, was terminated today by financial service firm Raymond James. A day before that, he also issued an apology. And this is the first time James Juanillo sees it. And I was wrong to call the neighborhood police watch. It was wrong, and I'm profoundly sorry for treating him with disrespect. What do you think about that? Wow, that's um, about as much of a mea culpa as you can expect and I'd be willing to talk to him. And I'd, if he expresses that to me in person, I will forgive both of them. We're also seeing change in this neighborhood. Two days ago, the retaining wall looked like this. Now fast forward to today. James Juanillo's house has become a canvas for the Black Lives Matter movement. John Newmeyer, the owner of the downstairs of this house, says he appreciates the community's support. Where is it? There it is. We're also activists. Juanillo says there are many lessons to be learned, including... Love thy neighbor as you would love thyself. <laughs> Maybe that's a little uh, simplistic, but I believe it's the truth.